Hello, my name is Chris. Thank you so much for coming to your mat with me today during this holiday season. The joy of the season and whatever holidays and traditions that you celebrate can often be also combined with the stress of the hustle and bustle. We run out of time for self-care, time for reflection, time for breath. But today we'll rectify that and we'll spend some time just working on ourselves and allowing ourselves that moment to come back to center and focus and breathe. Find your way to a comfortable seat on your mat. Let your eyes shut down. Hands can rest gently on your knees, palms down if that feels good, or palms up, you decide. We'll bring our shoulders up, down, and back, lengthen through our spine, giving our lungs lots of room to expand and fill all the way up. If it feels good, your eyes can shut down. And again, we fill up. And empty completely. few more just like that. Last one right here. Breath in and breath out. If your eyes are shut down, allow them to slowly blink open. Bring your gaze back into focus. We're going to allow our right hand to connect to the earth beside us, our left hand to come up and over. Getting a nice side stretch through our side body. Let those shoulders fall away from your ears. Keep your chest open. Breathe in. See if there's a little more available. One more. And then inhaling back up through center, we switch sides. Again, finding that yummy side stretch through our body. Still breathing here. And then gently come back to center. Inhale, hands up and overhead. Interlace your fingers and then allow your palms to rotate up towards the ceiling. Pull those shoulders down. Allow your hands then to drop to shoulder height. Push through your palms as you actively round through your spine. Head drops down between your biceps. And then gently release. Allow your hands to rest just slightly behind your hips as you pull your elbows together and you'll see and feel your chest lift opening through your chest. Option to stay there, option to move your gaze up or back option to roll up through your knees. You decide what feels best for you. One more breath. And then gently release, coming back up to seated. We'll extend our hands out beside us like a T. We're going to shift the entirety of our torso to the right side. Let your right hand fall down gently behind you. Your left hand falls down gently in front of you. This is an excellent place to be. To increase intensity, you can take that left hand outside your right knee and allow you to twist a little bit further, but listen to your body and do what feels best. We drop ego, we drop expectation, and we just do what feels good. One more breath here, fill up. And as you exhale, gently unwind and come back to center. And one more time, those arms come out to a T. This time, the entirety of our torso comes to the left. Left hand behind us, right hand in front of us. Maybe deepening that, spy, that twist in your spine if you're feeling spicy today. One more breath. And gently release. Extend both hands out in front of you, fingers pointing up, palms pointing away from you. Take the fingers of your left hand and gently pull back on the pink fingers of your right. And then we'll gently switch, point those fingers down and allow again for your fingers of your left hand to pull on your right. And then draw your right arm all the way across your body, 
hook below your elbow, between your elbow and your wrist with your left arm, pull your shoulder away from your ear and feel that stretch through that shoulder right there. One more breath. We'll gently release, we'll come back to the same position with fingers pointing up and we'll switch sides. Right fingers pull on left. And then we switch, point those fingers down and gently pull, warming up those wrists. And then we give our shoulder a nice stretch. Hook your right arm between your left elbow and your left wrist. Pull your shoulder away from your ear. Gently release. Just a few more movements to get our bodies warmed up. One more time, let's inhale our hands up and overhead. Clasp our fingers, but this time, move your hands just behind the crown of your head. Allow your chin to fall down to your chest. Now, we're not looking to pull here. We're just looking for the weight of our hands to provide a little bit more for gravity to work with. So no tugging, just gentle softening. Inhale back up to seated. Release your left hand. Move your right hand to the left side of the, uh, of the crown of your head and let your ear fall down towards your shoulder. And again, no pulling. Just the gentle weight of that hand can help increase the intensity of that stretch. One more breath. And then we switch. Right hand comes down. Left hand on the right side left ear towards left shoulder. Gently release. Take some shoulder shrugs if that feels good. Whatever movement your body's asking for right now. And then opportunity to come off to one side and find all fours or opportunity to roll through your knees to find all fours. Doesn't matter. We'll just find our way to table tap, top. Now, we're really gonna be thoughtful about stacking of joints hips over knees, shoulders over elbows over wrists. And as you inhale, drop your belly, let your tailbone and your head tilt up towards your ceiling. This is cow. As you exhale, push the mat away, round through your back, drop your tailbone and your head for cat. With your own breath, a few more like that. One more, please. Then keeping that form that you've got in your tabletop, extend your right foot out behind you, hook your right toes onto the earth, push gently through your heel. You should feel that warming up the back of that right leg. And then option to stay exactly as you are, or if you'd like, lift your right leg up off the earth. That's gonna require that you pull your navel into your spine, engaging your core. Stay as you are, or allow your left hand to extend out in front of you, thumb up. This is called bird dog pose. It's a strong spinal extender. Gently release both your right knee and your left hand to the earth. Double check that alignment again. And then when you're ready, send your left foot out behind you, hook that toe. Push through that heel, warm up the back of that left leg. And then stay as you are, or draw those toes up off the earth, and maybe add your right hand as well. Navel to spine, core engaged. And then gently release back to your mat. We're going to find our way into our first downward facing dog. So hands come out in front of you, index fingers pointing wide. Grip the mat with all of your hand, all four fingers and two thumbs or by all four fingers and one thumb on each hand. <laughs> Tuck your toes, lift your hips, push the mat away. Knees can stay nice and soft, feet are hip width apart, and then just adjust as you need. Nothing's in concrete or cement here, so you get to choose where your limbs go. If it feels good, come up high on your toes and then let your heels sink down. High up on your toes, let your heels sink down. 
Maybe let your right heel drop as your left knee bends. And then switch left heel down, right knee bends. Called walking out your dog. And then when you are complete with whatever movement you've chosen, find stillness and breath. And then let your gaze move up to your thumbs. Your core is going to make your feet super light. Take teeny tiny baby steps and allow your feet to come up to meet your hands. Your knees are going to be super soft here so that your chest is resting on your thighs. And in that way, you know you're bending from your hip creases, which is where we want to hinge here. If you'd like, hands can sweep up and grab onto opposite elbows. Let your head drop heavy. We call this rag doll. If it feels good, shift your weight forward and back in your feet, maybe side to side, working to distribute your weight evenly through all four corners. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Always ending on yes. Shake it one more time. Fill up. As you empty, release your hands down towards the earth. And then as you inhale, they sweep wide and come up and overhead, and we find extended mountain. Let's start with our feet, all four corners, root down. Take the outsides of your shins and kind of rotate them so you're opening up through those legs. Pull your kneecaps up the front of your thighs, engaging your quadriceps. Find length through your side body. Navel into spine, slight tuck of your tailbone. Hands extend up and overhead, and then those shoulders again fall away actively from our ears. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more just like that and empty. If you'd like to take a back bend on your next inhale, you might. And then exhale, release down to a forward fold. Again, finding as much softness as our knees is necessary to be able to hinge from our hips. Take your hands, track them up the front of your shins, come up to a half lift, flat back. Crown your head tracks toward the front of your space, tailbone tracks behind you to the back of your space. Release down to the forward fold. Once again, inhale, hands up and overhead, come all the way up to extended mountain, and release to the forward fold. Find that half lift again, hands front of shins, shoulder blades engage here, flat back, and then allow your hands to come back to the earth as you step back to plank pose. Draw your knees down to the mat, and then keeping your elbows tight to your ribs, let your chest come down as well. All 10 toenails are tucked into the earth. Press down actively through your 10 toenails. Lift your chest, your hands can assist you. We're coming up as high as feels good. Some of us will be down here. Some may be here. Some may come way up. Let's try not to lock our elbows, though. Breathe in. Exhale, release back down. This is called cobra. Come back up again. Inhale. Turn your gaze to the right over your shoulder. Come back through center. Turn your gaze over your left. Come back through center. Gently release down to the earth. Push down into the mat. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. We're going to take our right foot and do the best that we can to pick it up, curl it into our chest, and set it down by our right thumb. Now, for some of us, that's not super accessible. So use your hand to assist your right foot in coming through, or always the option to walk to the top of your mat, and then we just step back with our left foot instead, which tends to be much more accessible. Once you get your right foot by your right thumb, we're going to drop our left knee down to the earth. You can stay exactly as you are. You may be able to come up and place your hands on your knee. You may be able to extend your hands up overhead. That puts a lot more weight and put a lot more stretch so you decide what serves you best. Breathe in, breathe out. Wherever your hands are, let your left hand find the mat. Your right hand's gonna come up and open as we twist open to the right. Breathe in, 
and then twist open. We're gonna try not to let her arm just fall behind us. We're moving our shoulders and our body as one. Two more breaths. And then when you are complete, bring your right hand back down to the earth. Your left toes tuck, you lift your left knee, step back to plank pose, and then shift your hips up and back. Downward dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left foot steps by your left thumb, or remember that option to come to the top of your mat and step back with your right foot. Right knee comes down to the earth. Option to stay right here with both hands framing your left foot. Option for both hands to come up to your knee or both hands to come up and overhead. Just take a moment, feeling that stretch, letting your body move and open. And then when you're ready, we return our right hand or we keep our right hand on the mat and our left hand peels up and open as we open to the left side of our space. And again, not letting that arm fall behind us, but instead twisting open. Breathe in length, twist open. Breathe in length, twist open. Two more. Gently release your left hand down to the earth. It's framing your left foot. Lift your right knee up off the earth. Step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. And again. Next inhale brings your gaze up to your thumbs. And again, use your core to make your feet nice and light. Step, hop, or walk. Top of your mat for a forward fold. Inhale, find your half lift, shoulders engage. Soften back down through the forward fold. And then big inhale as hands come up and overhead. Allow them to meet. Allow them to find heart center. Your gaze moves down to your fingertips or your eyes shut down. Find breath. Find purpose for coming to your mat today. Find celebration for the work that your body is doing for you. And then when you're ready, your eyes come open. Gaze returns back up to a level view. Hands come down by your side. Shoulders up, down, and back, and then zip everything up. Skin to muscle to bone. You should feel really strong here, as if somebody came and tried to push you over, they would meet great resistance. Shift your weight gently into your left foot. Pop your right heel. If that feels like a balance challenge, you are exactly as you are, stay there. If you feel like you've got a little more available to you, perhaps your toes will come off the earth. Perhaps your knee will come up to hip height. Perhaps you can catch that knee, draw it into your chest. One of our last stops along the journey is right hand inside right knee, left hand out by your side, gaze over your left thumb. If you fall out, you shake it off, you smile about it, and you just get back in. That's all. It's just yoga, right? Two more breaths. And then with as much control as is available to you, gently release back down to the earth and onto your mat with both feet. Inhale, shoulders up, down, and back. Reconnect. Take that pause to get set up. That's an important part. When you're ready, left heel pops. Wait into your right foot. You decide where to go. Same options. Always the option to tap down and come back in. If you're like me and you're on a mat and a carpeted surface, that's challenging. A lot of squish beneath you. You've got to fight against that. So be kind, listen to your body, do what you need. One more breath. Gently release and shake it off. We're gonna to turn to the top of our mat. 
We're going to bring our hands open by our side, shoulders up, down, and back, gaze in front of you. Gently draw your right knee up off the earth and then extend it in front of you. Now, the, go the, the tendency is to lean back, right, like that. We're going to try to keep our shoulders over our hips. So adjust the length, the height of your leg accordingly to be able to keep staying upright. And then we'll just pulse our leg up three times. One, two, three. And then bend it, send it back out behind you for airplane. Always the option to touch down in between. Hands are extended by your side. Right leg is lifted. Shoulders are engaged. Heart is lifted. Gaze is out slightly in front of you. Two more breaths. And then bring your hands to heart center. Let your hands come down to the earth and gently lift your right leg as high as it will comfortably go. You decide where your leg goes. And when you feel resistance and you've gone past the point of growth and challenge to pain or discomfort, you know you've gone too far. And you just back out a little bit. We'll find two more breaths here. Gently release your right foot back down to the earth next to your left. Inhale, find your half lift, shoulders engage. Soften back down to the forward fold. Inhale, rise, hands travel up and overhead. Come back through heart center and release down by your side so that we can do the same thing on the left. Take that moment to get set up. Left knee into your chest. Straighten it. Pulse. One, two, three. Bend it. Send it back out behind you to airplane if you need to touch down in between. Awesome. Go ahead and do so. Shoulder blades engaged. Hearts lifted here. Two more breaths. And then let your hands come to heart center and release down to the mat and lift your left leg as high as it can comfortably go. You may notice a big difference on either side of your body. I know I do. No big deal. It's just worth noticing. No judgment or ego around that. Let's find two more breaths here. Gently release left foot next to your right forward fold. Inhale, half lift, soften down to the forward fold. And from here, we'll move to Malasana. Your hands are going to support you. You're going to walk your feet nice and wide. Now, this can be challenging. So just listen to your body and take what feels best. The further apart your feet go, the more likely you are to be able to bring your heels to the earth. Maybe the option to use those elbows with your hands at heart center to open through your knees. We'll just spend two breaths here. Hands connect with the earth. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Gently walk your feet back to hip width apart. Half lift. Fold. Inhale, rise. One more flow here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Hands meet the earth. Step back to down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Move your gaze to your thumbs, gently drop your knees down to the earth. Walk your hands back to meet your knees and then come off to one side or the other to find a seated position in front of you. Let's start with our feet sole to sole. How do you control the intensity here? The distance through your heels or away from your body is one place, and the amount that your knees fall open is the other. So find again that place where there's challenge and growth, but no pain, no discomfort. Yoga feels good. Yoga serves you. Shoulders come up and back as you find length through your spine. Option to stay exactly as you are, or maybe option to hinge. You get to decide. We find two breaths here.
and gently inhale back up to seated. Keep your right leg bent, extend your left leg. And then if there's more space available, you might be able to bend your knee a little bit more, but you're gonna plant your right foot somewhere on the inside of your left leg. Inhale, length through your spine as hands travel up and overhead. Rotate your heart over your thighs and hinge. And again, you're probably sick of me saying it. Find that place that's right for you. No further, no less, but exactly where you need to be. As we're here for a few breaths, you may find that on the inhale, you can find a little more length. And on the exhale, there may be a little more space available to you. Or you may find that you're exactly where you need to be and you should stay put. One more quality breath. Inhale back up to seated. We're going to bend that left leg again, bringing it back to meet your right sole to sole. But this time, move your heels further away from you. And rather than trying to keep length through our spine, we're going to soften and round. We're going to bring our forehead down towards our heels. Perfect place to just see what you've got available to let go. Filling all the way up. And as you empty, soften and release. Two more breaths. Next inhale brings you back up to seated. This time your right leg will extend and you'll find the perfect place for your left foot to go inside your right leg. You'll inhale, hands up and overhead. Your heart will travel over your thigh and will hinge. Two more breaths. Next inhale brings you back up to seated. Extend your left leg out to join your right. Give your legs a nice little shake. Wave hello or windshield wiper. Let them release a little bit. And then we're going to take our hands out in front of us. And using a C-shaped spine, we're going to carefully, gently roll down onto our backs. Bend your knees. Plant your feet. From here, gently cross your right ankle over your left knee. Flex actively through your right foot and let your right knee fall open away from your body. If you don't feel much there, you may need to pick your left foot up off the earth and draw your left knee, bringing your right ankle with it closer to your chest. But staying right here is an excellent place to be as well. Two more breaths. And then when you're complete with those breaths, gently uncross your right ankle from your left knee and cross your left ankle over your right knee. Again, we're going to actively flex through that left foot. Draw that left knee away. Stay as you are. Maybe pick your right foot up off the earth to draw your right knee and your left ankle closer to your body and intensify the stretch. Two more breaths. And then gently uncross your left ankle from your right knee. Draw your knees into your chest. Draw circles clockwise with your knees. And then switch and draw circles counterclockwise with your knees. And then draw your knees just into your chest. Keep them centered and rock gently from side to side, massaging the entire length of your spine. From here, extend your legs up towards the ceiling, your feet up towards the ceiling. Flex actively through your feet. Option to hold on wherever it feels good and to keep your knees soft here. 
working to get our feet over our hips and more importantly, over our heart. Here we downregulate. We absorb the work that we've done today to move our bodies. Find two more breaths here. And then from here, bend your knees and let them fall down by your ribs. Your feet are still pointing directly up to the ceiling. You can grab onto the back of your thighs, your ankles, or reach your hands up and grab the insides of your feet. Gently rock from side to side. This is called happy baby. And then gently release your knees into your chest one more time. Curl up into the smallest ball that you can. Give yourself a huge hug. Show yourself gratitude and respect for showing up here today on your mat. Breathe all the way in. And as you exhale, soften completely down to your mat. Legs extend. Let your feet fall open like a book. Your palms are by your side, face up. Open and close your jaw. The pressure comes off of your back teeth. Your tongue falls away from the roof of your mouth. Shoulders open up, maybe nestle a little bit under your heart space. And then here we find breath and stillness. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth and audibly sigh it out. <sighs> wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. If you'd like to extend your arms out behind you into a full body stretch, rotate wrists and ankles. And then gently one more time, draw your knees into your chest and roll onto your right side. Let your bicep cradle your head. So here we pause and find gratitude for this practice, your presence, your choice to be here. And then gently find your way up to seated Finding a comfortable seated position with eye, legs crossed, if that feels good. Inhale your hands up and overhead. Allow your hands to fall down to heart center. Pause here. Thank your most important teacher, the teacher within. And then your thumbs travel up to your forehead and your fingers spread wide. The word namaste means that the light and the love and the joy in me recognizes, honors, and celebrates the light, the love, and the joy in you. Let's bow to one another and say, Namaste. Thank you so much for showing up, sharing your practice and your breath. I hope that this has given you a little bit of time for yourself, a little bit more time to become grounded and centered as we face the joys and the challenges of this upcoming holiday season. Thank you again. Have the best day.